Hi guys. Guess who just got back from B&M? I took mum to look at wallpaper. I picked up some samples for her. She liked them. She wanted to see if there were any others. I was happy to do it. Somehow I ended up having to take my baby granddaughter with me. I'm saying having. I love it. Love, 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 love having her along. But I wasn't able to concentrate properly. So I got a little bit indiscriminate as to what went into my trolley. And I have to say, this is a huge haul. I maybe should split it into two, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go for it, but I might have to go quite quickly. <laughs> anyway, my name's Fawn. I'm here. I'm your shopping genius. Bert is trying to get on my lap. This is a happy place. I hope you're a happy person. And if you're not, come along and see if you can become happy. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. They're very important. Believe it or not, they're very important. Subscribe and comment. Right, let's get to it. I don't even know where to start, you know. Please, Bert, get down. But I will just, I'm just going to have to go at it in an indiscriminate fashion. I have my receipt. And guys, I spent £164.95p. And I went just for mum to look at wallpaper. I mean, what can I say? Right, where to start? Okay, I'm going to start. My granddaughter is with me. Peppa Pig! A Peppa Pig... A Peppa Pig... Best Friends Lift the Flap book. 3 99 I don't know if that's a good price or a bad price. She thought it was wonderful. As you know, it is, of course, a Peppa Pig. <laughs> I can't resist these. Cheddars. It's a triple pack and it was £2. That is really good value because... I bought some of these to have some cheese on, oh, about a week ago, I think. And they were like £1.69 for one packet. And I got three for two quid. I mean, I expect £1.69 was well over the top because it was a corner shop. But still, I was happy. I picked up for my grandsons a pack of two gloves each. This one has on it Captain America. Is that Captain? No, that's not Captain America. I don't know which Avenger that is. They're Avengers anyway. And there's another one there. There were £3 for two pairs. And this one has got Spider... Oh, at least I recognise Spider-Man. <laughs> so yeah, £3 for two pairs. So it makes it £1.50 a pair. And the weather is beginning to turn. Little fingers, little toes. You guys will recognise this if you watch my last B&M haul. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I couldn't resist. I, went, I wasn't even going to go up the Christmas aisle because I'm trying to hang on and not do Christmas shopping yet. But I couldn't resist popping up there. And you know, there weren't that many there on the shelf. Now, when I filmed the other day, there were tons. And I'm sure they'll restock. But it managed to make me panic a little bit. And I picked it up. And it was £10. And I just think it's gorgeous. Look at this little robin sitting up here and all the animals all ready for Christmas. I picked up a throw. A lovely furry soft pink throw with little white snowflakes on it. I can't show it to you because my granddaughter immediately pulled it out the packaging, wrapped it all around her, was hugging it. I mean what kind of grandma would I be if I took it off her? It only cost five pounds and it was really pretty. It was this sort of pink like the ribbon. I don't even know why I'm bothering to mention it, but it was in the bag. So I ordered myself a desk the other day, but unfortunately where I'm going to put it is not right next to a socket. So I needed an extension lead. And this is an Energizer Cube. It's 9 99 call it £10. I don't know why they do that penny thing, but it takes, it's 1.4 metre cable. Yeah. It has three sockets, but it also has three USB points on it. I think that's marvellous. There's a picture down there showing how you can how you can use it. I bought something similar, but it was a plug-in one, and it's been brilliant. So, you know, so much less having all those plugs. So I got that and I'm happy. I picked up some Christmas PJs for my grandsons. Oh, I should have got for Lara as well. Oh my goodness me, I'm gonna have to go back. She's progressed out of baby. She is now, I am now able to get one to two. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I might have to send my husband so that I don't buy anything else. I'll just send him with, with a photograph or something. But I got pyjamas. 
they're for Christmas. The boys ones were five pounds and it says Christmas crew on it with really pretty, oh, navy pajama bottoms with a little red cuff, navy with snowflakes on. And then they've got the little, the crew on the front. So I got Levi, Milo's were also five pounds. Then for my daughter, I bought Oversize. She is a tiny little girl, but she likes her pajamas really sloppy. And hers were eight pounds, which is exactly the same thing. And then I got for my son-in-law, and his were nine pounds. Obviously his are huge. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to go back and get them for Lara. Ah, oh, it's trying to get used to the fact that I don't buy baby for her anymore. She's now a little person. But I was happy with those and I'll tuck them away, give them to them the week of Christmas. I picked up this tablecloth. Now again, you might recognise this from the um, Come Shop With Me that I did when I went up the Christmas aisle. And again, there was this one and one other left in this particular pattern. And I think this pattern is gorgeous. It's a pale gray background. It has the trees and the fox and the rabbit and some green on it. Oh, you know it's green in here. I just thought it was stunning. I thought it was stunning when I filmed and I was not gonna leave it behind. And that was 10 pounds. I just hope it fits my table. I don't know about the rest of you, but I can never remember how big my table is. I also picked up a picture frame, three pounds. Isn't that stylish? It's part of their Midnight Garden range. This is to go on my new desk, only it will be going that way. And I'm gonna put a picture of my three grandkids in it because, yeah, yeah, they're a real reason for getting up every morning. But three pounds, isn't that pretty? I got myself some more microfiber cloths. I've got a thing about cloths. These were six for two pounds. For washing dishes, wiping down the sides, things like that. I will boil and do boil cloths, but they get to a certain point, some stains just won't come out. And the minute they start to look a bit funky, even though I know that they've been through a boil wash and they are clean, I just, I just don't want to use them. And two pounds for six, that will keep me going for quite a while. And they're really pretty colors. Again, the grandchildren. I bought the boys last year, their initials that hang on the tree. This, their ones are red. This year they had red and they had silver and I decided to get silver for Lara because of course her brother Levi is also an owl. So the boys are red, Lara is silver. It costs three pounds and it does light up. You put batteries in it and it lights up and hangs on the tree. How could I not really? One of my friends on here recommended this because it was either last time I went or the time before I got the chicken curry, the chip shop chicken curry by the Mayflower, by the Mayflower, by Mayflower. And she contacted me and said, the Southern style gravy mix is brilliant. Now I love gravy on chips. And it's funnily enough, one of the pictures on the back. I mean, I make proper gravy for a roast dinner, so I wouldn't use it for that, but for chips. And it's suitable for vegetarians, so, I don't know what's in it, but I'm gonna be trying it. And it was only a pound. It wouldn't be a trip to B&M or Poundland if a box of these didn't come home with me. I tell you what, if you cut me in the middle, I'm probably made out of shortbread. Again, a pound. Picked up some little bow clips for my granddaughter. Aren't they pretty? They're a pound. There's eight of them. I don't expect they'll last that long. She tends to take them out, flush them down the toilet. You know, all the things that little girls do. But I thought they were really sweet and couldn't resist. And then bought some buttons. <laughs> she got hungry part way around the store and it was like, what am I gonna give her? She loves the chocolate buttons. So this is one of these bags full of the fun size ones. It doesn't say how many, but there are 12 bags in there. And these cost £1.50. I would have paid £5.50 because she was beginning to get cross. Not to be left out, I bought myself a treat. This was 2 99 which I don't mind because the tub itself will be useful afterwards. But it's individual Nutella packs. I could buy a big jar of Nutella for 2 99 or a little bit more. But once I start, I can't stop. 
these because they're individually packaged. I'm hoping that when I get a real, oh, I need something sweet and chocolatey, I will be able to have one and stop. <laughs> At the very least, it'll slow me down. <laughs> I picked up some batteries. As you know, it's been birthday city here for a while, what with my older grandson and my younger grandson. Almost every toy these days comes with batteries or a need for batteries. And I keep batteries in the house. The kids always know I've got them. They'll say, Grandma, Grandma, I need a battery. And they'll bring whatever toy it is. But it got so bad that all of my batteries ended up in their house. So I had to restock. Um, and they had the 12 triple A and 12 double A. They were five pounds each, but if you bought two packets, it was eight pounds, so four pounds each. I thought that was a good deal, so I went for it. I picked up a face mask. You know we're doing Mask Mondays. I have got a few others here, but I thought this one looked good. This one is a polar bear cucumber face mask. I don't think I'll look, oh, I might look like a, I might look like a polar bear. I didn't actually look to see whether that pattern was on it. But I liked the fact that it was cucumber. The last one that I used, I think, was too florally. And it made me itch. So I thought, cucumber, you can't be much more soothing than that, can you? And there's nothing too scary in it. And this only cost a pound. And if it turns out to be good and cooling and soothing and refreshing, I'll be buying it again. I had to break it off for a minute there. <laughs> My grandsons were outside shouting and shouting and shouting, Grandma! So being a good grandma, I wanted to see what was up. And I'm a little out of puff from the two of them leaping all over me and me having to carry them and everything. So anyway, back to the epic haul. We are nearly there. I picked up a whole load of Christmas cards, 99p. I know, I'm mean, but what can you say? Special friends. The lovely mum was 149. The granddaughter was 149. There was a daughter one for 149, a daughter one for 99p, and an our house to yours for 99 p These are the sorts of prices that make it okay to send cards to the world and his wife. For my daughter, I picked up two of these: pasta and sauce. Pasta and mm, sauce. Uh, this one's mac and cheese. This one's tomato onion herb. When she went to college, she was away from home for the very first time. I swear to God, she lived on these. And when I saw them, and they were 50p each, they were on offer. So I couldn't resist picking them up, ready in five minutes. They're the kind of thing that when she comes in from doing the horses late at night, she's a bit tired, she's a bit cold. Whip up a portion of this. It takes five minutes, yep, yeah, ready in five minutes. It's nice and filling, tasty. It stops you reaching for the chocolate. I told you I'd pick up another bottle of this. I love this stuff. It's a pound. It's that one that you spray on your clothes and it disinfects them. My husband loves his. I now know when he's coming because I can smell him coming, but in a nice way. So I wanted some for a few things of mine that, you know, you get a bit hot and bothered in. Jackets and things like that, you know? You come in, you've got all hot and sweaty because it's raining and it's miserable weather here. You can spray the inside of it, make sure it's really fresh, really clean and you're happy to wear it again. I mean, it doesn't mean that you can stop washing your clothes, but things like jackets, do you know what I mean? You do wash them, but not like you'd wash a t-shirt. I got myself one of these, look, F for forgetful, fiasco, <laughs> fawn. They didn't have it in the Navy when I was there last time. And when I saw it in the Navy, I couldn't resist. This is to go in my desk with just a few bits and pieces of makeup in it, you know, a bit of powder, a bit of lippy, for, um, you know when people knock at the door and you're like, oh my God, I never know where to put makeup and I can never find my handbag. So I've got like a basic emergency freshen up kit here. It can live in the drawer. I know where it is. I can grab it and give myself a quick tidy before letting the person in. Um, this was four pounds, which I suppose is not the cheapest thing in the world, but I think it's lovely. It's navy velvet with gold F on it. For a pound fifty, I picked up some of these um, correction rollers. I've never used these. I'm still of the old-fashioned, you know, Tipex in a pot job, but I've seen people using these. I do keep 
I have a bullet journal and a various uh, various other journals. I am a note maker and I've just really got into bullet journaling but I'm not the most natural arty person and I can end up sort of overdrawing things and this seems to be the way that everybody sorts it out so I thought for a pound fifty I'll give it a try even though there's a bit of me the Luddite that still goes where's the little brush <laughs> I didn't need these I wanted them they're a set of three woodland tea towels they were four pounds and they've got hair then a sort of a, a neutral and then another one with lots of hairs on what you may not know about me is I'm obsessed with hairs and my kitchen has loads and loads and loads of pictures of hairs perfect from the Arga. last couple of items again not for me I couldn't resist this oh please Bert it's the Grinch pajamas in an extra large for my son-in-law they were 9.99 I'm hoping extra large is big enough it's usually an extra extra large but I live in hope I just saw them and thought they were funny and the boys would love the fact that their dad was wearing Grinch pajamas and he is one of these guys who just will wear whatever you give him <laughs> and last but not least I got the boys some pajamas that are for now so I got the Avengers for little Levi and I got Spider-Man for my Milo you can see my Milo who is four I have to buy seven to eight clothing for it's terrible isn't it 6 .99. and these were also 6 .99. Levi is three and these will fit I've bought three to four so that's it it's piled up around me I'm going to have to go back to get the pyjamas for Lara. Hmm, could be dangerous. <laughs> anyway, that's my latest things from B&M. You'll be like, that girl is B&M crazy. <laughs> okay, I hope you're all well. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, Bert, look, say goodbye. Bertie, Bertie. Say no, you're not going to say goodbye, are you? Bye. <laughs>